them up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at the 46-yard line. Number 11 uncorks this to the left sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Second and 10. Ball at the 46-yard line. Number 18 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Third down, both wide outs to the right. Number 11 throws a heater right sideline and it's off incomplete. Number 81 had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Another ball comes his way, and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Landetta lines up to punt after the three and out. Landetta takes the snap and punts it away. Number 22 fields the punt at the 10. Drag down at the 14. Number 22 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Chiefs have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 14-yard line. Number 30 goes in motion. Number 21 gets the toss and passes the line. Drag down at the 15. Number 21 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, tight end to the left. Taylor makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Lawrence Taylor came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Number 16, rifles it out left side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 45 goes in motion. Number 55 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 55 managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Number 21 will get the carry on second down and gains about three yards. You can't run on us, Third baby! And six. You can't run on us! Ball at the Chiefs, 32-yard line. Number 89 goes in motion. Number 21 will get the carry on third down and gets taken down well short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Number 25 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Number 44 lines up for the punt. Number 44 takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Number 8 fields the deep punt at the 20. Tackled at the 22. Number 80 got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. 
The Giants offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 22-yard line. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. First and ten. Ball up to 45. Squeeze back. Squeeze back. Second two. Number 22 will lose four on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 51 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Number 81 goes in motion. Number 20 takes this one way out left and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 20 has been battling the D, but the D is winning this one. Look at this. No real yards to speak of anywhere. Tough game. He's only got 17 yards on 10 carries. Third down, 12 yards to go. Number 11 sings it to the right side, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Landetta gets ready to punt this away. Landetta gets the ball and punts it away. The Chiefs have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 21 gets the handoff and takes it upfield. Tackled at the 26. Second down. The clock is stopped at two minutes. The Giants take their first time out. Third down and less than a yard. Rips him down. The Giants will take a time out. That's their second. Number 44 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 80 to make the return. Number 44 gets the snap and punts it away. Number 80 catches it at the 29. Brought down at the 32. Number 80 got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Giants start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.45. Rips and up. The Giants take a timeout. That's their final one. Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.41. Number 81 hauls it in right side and is at the 50. Runs out and that will stop the clock at 135. It will be first down. First down with a split backfield. Number 20 
will get the carry on first down, and he's stopped. The clock continues to run. Second and eight. Number 89 catches it in the flat, and the clock continues to wind down. Third down, both wideouts to the right. Number 11 throws this on a rope, and it's caught short of the markers, and the clock continues to wind down. It'll be fourth down. Number 78 got a hand on it to tip it away. They force a turnover on downs. Number 78 gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. Dan, this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. Second and 11. Ball the 39-yard They'll take their sweet time getting this playoff, Dan. There's no reason for them to hurry the snap. And that is going to That's do it for this game. one. The Chiefs come out on top 10 to 6. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Chiefs stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 48 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. After driving five yards on three plays, number two sets up with a little chip shot, and this one is no problem. Connect on their second field goal. Giants out in front by three. Number 78 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. They take the lead again and go up by four. The Chiefs on defense. Number 58 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Chiefs ahead, 10 to six. Number 55 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Number 11 is back to throw here. Who says tight ends are for blocking? Good hands that time. Giants trailing by four. Number 81 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs edge out a win, 10 to six. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. The guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Number 78 is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly. And you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Well, we just got after it defensively. They were big for us at this game today. Man, we just fed off their energy, and they fed off ours. What can I say? We got the job done. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast.